Hi, I'm Cheryl Patrick, and I'm going to give you a heartwarming Christmas story about a visit from Super Nemo, your favourite festive neutrino list double beta decay experiment. Tis the week before Christmas. It's nearly the year Super Nemo's detector begins its career. To observe double beta decays with great care, in the hope we will find no neutrinos are there. But before we get started, are you guys au fait with neutrino list type double beta decay? Think of regular betas. Imagine a sitch with a nice heavy nucleus, two neutron rich. A neutron decays to a proton, expectant, anti neutrino, and beta electron. But some isotopes are much trickier devils because of peculiar energy levels. A single decay is forbidden, but who would ever have guessed that it's fine to make two? We've seen this occur, though it's terribly rare. But the process we're seeking, who knows if it's there, is similar, surely. But what makes it great? The neutrinos are virtual and annihilate. And the reason we care about all of this drama? It implies that neutrinos must be my honor. Two new bars can't cancel unless it is true that a new's a new bar and a new bar's a new. So what's Super Nemo? And how does it tell if we're not just electrons, but neutrinos as well? Well, our isotope foils on a strong mylar backer are hung between sections of wire chamber tracker. The time for electrons to drift to each wire will help reconstruct how they move in a spiral. And look here at the sides. Calorimeters who allow us to reconstruct energy, too. So, we track our electrons. Here's one, and here's two. And if their combined energies add up to Q, that's the energy difference between the starting and ending nuclei, there's only electrons, there's zero neutrinos. And that's very exciting because nobody's seen those. Well, I'm certain that all of you, now I've recited just what we are doing, are very excited. What have you accomplished in 2016, I'm sure you were asking, and who's on the team? So welcome them now, with a smile or a grin. Here's Lauren, here's Ashwin, Michaeli and Shin. Here's Derek, here's Cheryl, and please give a wave to Fang, Anastasia, Ruben, and Dave. Our tale starts in the north, amidst tundra and snow. Santa's elves and a robot at work. Ho, ho, ho. They were building cassettes, each with 18 drift cells, and shipping them over to MSSL. And that's how they came under our team's protection. We assembled cassettes into four tracker sections. We clipped them in place, even though it was tight. Checked for dust and for breaks with a cool UV light. And when each one was finished, we leapt at the chance to package it up and ship it to France. And now they've arrived, all four of the sections, and under the mountain, we've made some connections. C0 and C1, that's two of the tracker sections, a coupled connector callo outside, and that's half a detector. But have we done more? Oh, you bet your asses. We've delivered a system controlling the gases. There's helium mostly, but into the bargain, there's 4% ethanol, 1% Argon. There's a raspberry pie to deliver the news from the ethanol bubbler, adding the booze, and a sweet user interface letting us measure stuff like the temperature, flow rate, and pressure. And wonder, dear friends, at the progress we've made on reducing the contamination from radon. At Radio Purity, doing so well. 
150 micro becquerel per meter cubed. With the RNCL to increase concentration, we're able to measure a small emanation. So now we've got busy and will be for weeks beginning commissioning, checking for leaks, validating the software and getting prepared to start our detector and look at what's there. 2016's been great, 17 will be greater when Santa delivers a sleigh full of data. Merry Christmas from Super Nemo.